Alright everybody, this is Bake with IronThroneCraft.com. Today, the video is going to be a little, a little bit different. Recently, I've only been showing a lot of gameplay. This one's going to be a little bit more informational. It's going to be about Kingdom Transfer, and then a lot of people have been asking about gear, the best way to gear their hero, everything else like that. Uh, guard Captain, da-da-da-da-da. Majestic gear is the way to go. Uh, it's not a coincidence that they just released these new packs that have a whole bunch of Majestic gear in them. So, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, I bought all the Majestic packs, for all those uh, majestic chests. I'm going to open those up, see what we get out of those, and then I'm going to show you how many pieces you actually get or can get if you get lucky crafting. Um, I got fairly lucky crafting, as we'll see in a second. But there's also this reward that goes along with it, this gold rush reward. So if this is only buying the majestic packs. If you only buy the majestic packs, you see there, grade six, you get an additional 300 chests on top of all the other stuff. So you claim all those rewards, and then we're going to go in, we're going to open up the majestic chests, and we're going to see what we actually get out of all those chests. It ends up being around 2,100 chests. I had some materials uh, going into this, but there weren't a ton of them, uh, the important ones. You know, I had a lot of yellow of the other ones that are less important. And so I'm going to show you how this is much more, because it costs uh, 90 bucks to buy all of the packs, I think. Yeah, ninety dollars to buy all the packs. So basically, that's the equivalent of one majestic piece if you just buy a majestic piece. If you buy these packs, we'll show you. But before that, we're gonna get into new thing. Kingdom transfer has finally been released. Kingdom transfer is something everybody's been asking for for quite a while. Everybody knows about it, and now you're gonna be able to buy teleports that will teleport you permanently to another kingdom. You see, everybody level six or higher can use it. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be a pack only item. You're going to have to buy it from the package shop. I don't know how much they're going to cost. I don't know if it's going to be $100 per port. We'll get into that more in a second, though, because that cost is going to come into play here. So they're not. you can't transfer to every kingdom, and there are quite a bit of restrictions placed on this. So it's not just going to be the free-for-all that a lot of people were hoping for. Um, also, as you can see, whoever's taking these screenshots for uh, Netmarble's official forum is in current kingdom number 17. So watch out, guys. you got to spy. Uh, there's that. Number two... Um, you can't transfer to existing kingdoms that aren't available to transfer to. Also, look at this. You can only bring 1 billion of each resource. See that? Resource capacity limit, 1 billion of each resource. That is a huge thing because you also cannot bring all of your resource items. You have to use all of your resource items, and then you can only bring a maximum amount of 1 billion resources. That's not going to be a problem for everybody. That is going to be a huge problem for some people. You also cannot transfer where you would be ranked first in estimated power. So if your alliance wants to go and just uh, move to a new kingdom and crush it, you can't do that if you're going to have the number one guy there. Uh, if you're the only person in, you know, the biggest person in your kingdom, you can transfer, but there has to be somebody bigger in the place you're going to. So you folks don't have to worry about the Satesses and the babies and everything else like that of the world teleporting into your kingdom and just making that their new shop, setting up shop there. Um, those are the two big restrictions. There are quite a few other restrictions. You can't be an alliance. So, like, you have to leave your alliance prior to uh, moving over there. That's going to reset all your buffs and everything. Or it's going to keep your buffs, actually. It's going to reset your uh, other stuff. You can't uh, reset your daily count on the steeples, which I was actually considering, depending how much those costs, how much those uh, ports cost, is using that to teleport around and get more steeples. You can't do that. And then here's the thing. It's going by how much what your new rank in your new kingdom is going to be. So if you're going to be ranked 2 in the kingdom in power, you're going to have to take 20 ports. So I don't know if it's going to be $100 a port or not, like uh, other games of this genre that used to be $100 a port. If it is, that's going to be two grand. if you're going to be number two. Uh, and then it just uh, you know goes down. There's the chart up on the official forums that shows the exact port cost for everybody based upon what you're going to be. For the most part, it's not that many ports for, unless you're uh, pretty big and you're going to be going into a kingdom that you're going to be one of the really, really big fish in. So a lot of you, like if your alliance wants to move or something, then it's going to just take a few ports for everybody in your alliance. Um, but the biggest, biggest business aspect of this is that you cannot transfer if you are number one in power, if you're going to be number one in power. So you cannot transfer somewhere you're going to be the biggest person. And you also cannot bring more than a billion of each resource. So you're like, everybody's got food. Um, so if you want to move kingdoms, you're going to have to use all of those resources. Now let's get back into the majestic gear. Um, and this is going to be split up a little bit because I went on tilt whenever I got a couple purples in a row. So, opened up 2,100 Majestic Chests. You see I got Crafted Diamonds, a whole bunch of them, and look at the blues in these. You know, it looks like you see only, only one yellow and you're like, what? But then you see the blues there, and like Darkness Guy got 45 blues. 
Uh, majestic earrings. I got two yellow majestic earrings. That's the difficult piece for majestic. And so we're going to get into, I'm going to show you exactly how I craft these things in just a second. So keep in mind, that was $90 worth of majestic chests right there for all of those, all of those materials. We go look at this. You see, as I said, I had a little bit there, but not much. And now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these up and just see how much I have each one. So now I'm going to go up and I've got uh, six yellow majestic earrings. Now you see those are the ones that I was low on, so I couldn't craft any majestic going into this video. Or I wouldn't craft any majestic at a, at a bad percentage. And uh, moving forward, this is the one that's really short for me on the accessories. So now this is exactly how I craft my majestic gear. Is What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and, like I said, I combine all these pieces up. And then after I have everything combined up, everything's all yellow, I'm not going to craft at all yellow. That's absolutely not how I'm going to do it. I'm going to go look at my hero, and I'm going to see what pieces I need. So you see that I've got uh, level 7 chest, 10 helm, 8 weapon, 7 offhand, and 8 accessory. Now what I want to do is I want to get up to level 10. That's how I've been enhancing stuff. My offhand should be level 10. Um, I had a few beers, and I enhanced the wrong offhand recently. So I've got a level 3 offhand in my inventory that I don't really know what to do with. So there's that. You'll see that here in a second. Um, so that was a costly error. But let's get into the actual crafting. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to craft the earrings. And the earrings, I'm always going to use a 70% craft. So you see I three got, I've got three yellows, and then I craft with the, that on the blue. And so that's what I'm going to do on the accessory every single time, is I go and I select the blue piece on the, on the hard one, and I craft with the blue every single time because it's a 70% chance. 80% um, chance if you use a purple there. Obviously 100 if you use a yellow, but you can get so many more crafts. If you've never seen my video on efficient crafting, go watch it. It goes through the math and it tells you exactly why I'm doing it this way. So you see I got unlucky there. I got a purple. But I also went in and I even broke a, purple, a yellow down to purple and then one of the purples down to blue so that I could keep crafting at this 70% chance because I can craft so many more times. So now I'm up to, I started with four, and now I'm up to, you see, seven up there in the top left. So I've made three earrings, three yellow earrings at this point, uh, I believe. Maybe, yeah, three yellow earrings at this point. I'm getting a little bit unlucky on the crafts, but it is what it is, and there's that. So now I'm going to go in, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to upgrade. So eight to nine, and then nine to ten. I've got to use silver every single time. I'm sorry for that, everyone. I'm sorry that I didn't just uh, hit that. And I also always keep one extra majestic set, or not always. I've recently been keeping an, ingest, a, an extra majestic set just for testing because I'm trying to test out the best guard, uh, guard captain gear, secondary guard captain gear, deputy guard captain, I mean, everything like that. So that's why you see me with an extra piece of each uh, type. So my earring is now up to level 11. I've got two extras for that secondary guard captain if I want. And now what I'm going to do in is I'm going to go, I'm going to craft my chests. I want three chests. And you see what I just did? I broke those all down to purples because I can craft so many more at 60% than I could at 100%. And as you can see, I sped up the video quite a bit. I'm not actually this fast in game. I got unlucky. I got a purple there. I'm going to get unlucky again. I'm going to get another purple. I'm going to go on tilt and I'm going to uh, close out the forge and get mad. And so that's where you're going to see the timer jump here because I go in and I upgrade the uh, two, I'm up to level nine on my chest now. So I'm going to go back in after I'm done being on tilt, and you see that I've got, uh, I think, I guess that was a level eight uh, chest. I didn't upgrade the second time. Now this is going at super speed, and what I'm doing is I'm crafting at 60% on the head, the chest, the weapon, and the offhand. Every single time, 60%. Two yellows and one purple. Every single time. The purple is uh, the earring, which is the hard part to get, I'm sorry, the necklace, which is the hard part to get in this. And as you can see, I'm just going through and I'm banging them out, crafting them at 60%. And I'm getting fairly lucky as well. There's a purple there. I already got a couple yellows. Yellow. And this is how you efficiently upgrade it. You go through quite a bit of silver doing it this way. But you're going to go through quite a bit of silver upgrading Majestic one way or another. It's just how it's going to go. So now I'm going to go in. I'm going to enhance everything up to level 10. And so now, off of these $90 worth of Majestic packs... I went from 7s and 8s on all my pieces to a full set of level 10. You see that secondary accessory there that's level 3, and then this nice warning that says, hey, that's upgraded. Are you sure you want to do that? And no, I don't. But like I said, you guys don't need to hang on to a second set of Majestic unless you want to. I'm still testing that out, but it looks like you're going to want to go Majestic with a single type as your uh, deputy captain. And I'm going to get more into that. Um, less on the Siege. I'm sorry, everybody. Siege doesn't seem to be the meta anymore. 
but I am testing at the moment, and I'll get further into that with a video in the very near future, probably after the Blood Moon, if anybody uh, hits me in the Blood Moon. If not, then I will uh, do some testing in Kingdom 5 and uh, kill a lot of my troops and figure out what the best is. But I do know for a near certainty, almost 100% fact, that you're definitely going to want at least one set of Majestic upgraded very high. So that's why I'm going through this and I'm showing you exactly how you want to craft this Majestic and get your Majestic upgraded as quickly as possible. Um, a full set of Majestic on your Guard Captain is basically the most important thing for you to do. Number one for defending your base and number two for attacking once Preemptive Strike comes into play, which you guys have seen from some of my battle videos in the uh, recent days and months. Uh, on that note, we will be doing some more battle videos, including uh, testing on Guard Captain and Deputy Guard Captain gear, so stay tuned for that. Give me a like. Give me a follow, leave a comment, let me know if you're going to use this new kingdom transfer situation. Uh, if you are, where are you going to be going? Or have you not even figured it out yet? Start scouting that out. Thanks for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it, and expect a new video soon.